Apple is finally back with a good Final Cut Pro update. Finally. Hi guys, I'm Pizza Sammy and in this video, we're going to talk about the magnetic mask tool in Final Cut Pro 11. Let's go. If you're someone who has been doing a lot of rotoscoping in other softwares, then this is one thing which is going to save you a lot of time. And the best part, this update is completely free for all Final Cut Pro users and works really well even on the M1 chips. So let's go over a quick rundown of how this magnetic mask tool is used. So once you open Final Cut Pro 11, make your sequence. Once that is done, all you have to do is just simply go to the effects panel, search in magnetic mask, drag the mask onto the clip just like this. But before that, if you want to have a background text effect, you have to duplicate the main clip first so that you know there is a main primary clip and the above clip is the masked out footage. So duplicate the layer just like this, one over the other and once that is done, drag the magnetic mask tool effect onto the above clip just like this. Once that is done, just simply go to the first frame of the above layer just like this and you will get a dropper tool on the preview panel. What do you do with this? Just use the dropper tool on the subject and it will auto mask the subject out. And if you want to add or remove anything, just simply click on option or the plus button right here and then click on the other parts also which you want to mask. If you want to remove a mask, click on the minus button just like this and click on the portions which you want to remove. Once that is done, you have to click on analyze and it will analyze all the frames of the selected clip. How cool is that? And the best part is this particular process is not that CPU or GPU intensive. It is really fast even on the M1 based MacBook models and it will be definitely fast on the M4 or the M3 chips. So once the analyzing is done, you have to click on OK and boom, it is already masked out. Let me hide the below layer so that you guys can see well. And as you can see, it has masked out pretty well. Previously, you had to use manual masking for each and every keyframes or you have to get it to After Effects to do rotoscoping, or you have to use the other tools such as MRoto AI from Motion VFX, or you have to use CapCut like the way I made this other video. You have to do so many other things, but now you can do it with the click of a button with the help of this one tool if you already have Final Cut Pro 11 installed on your computer. So this is the way you use the magnetic mask tool. Again, there are some other adjustments you can do to the magnetic mask, such as if you want to use your own manual brush, you can choose the brush to right here and draw the manual mask on your own. But in my opinion, it is not the best. It is not the most accurate. But yes, it is the first generation of the mask tool by Final Cut Pro. I'm pretty sure with the coming updates, this one thing will improve dramatically. Other than those, some of the basic things are you can increase or decrease the feather on the FS control panel right here. You can change the color of the mask, which is red, which is very self-explanatory to be honest. Red is the masked portion, so you guys can simply change the red color to something else. However, that will not affect the mask in general, in practicality. It is just for your own way of using it. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, then do make sure to subscribe, press the bell button. I'm Pistol Sammy. We'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.